10 through 14. There was no rain, remember. There was one river and then four rivers. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became into four heads. Now remember we talked about that, about that. And the, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Yes or no? Right. Yeah, so, so every body of water has a what? Face. A face. So these four rivers had four faces. Man. And the face of one Man. was this, Man. and the face of the other one was that, yeah. and the yes. face of that became into four heads. Yeah. Bad news. That's right. Uh-oh. You got to get to the bad news. But then there's good news again. Yeah. All related to water. Bad news. Man fell. Mm -hmm. Can you say amen to that? Man. Yeah. Man, man fell. Yeah. And became wicked. This displeased this God, and He chose to destroy mankind with water. 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 Bad news. Water is bad news. Yes. It <laughs> and it starts flooding. Oh, that's bad news. When it's raining, yeah. nice. Oh, it's not so good. Yeah. When it rains more, oh my God. Yeah. When it rains more, oh my God, the flood. And then, and then it's water becomes yeah. bad news. So here it goes destroys mankind with water because of their depravity. We studied this already when we studied the surface sheet, remember? Yeah. What kind of bad stuff that were they doing? Depravity. They got into polygamy. Oh, no. Yes. Verse 2. They choose as many as they wanted. Wow. Yeah. Hybrids. They started. Wow. That's verse 4. They started combining with the giants and made more giants. And oh. man said, sons of God. Adam started messing around with the daughters of uh, the, the, the other seed, serpent seed. And they started being giants. What else? Verse 5 says they were, the earth was full of wickedness. The earth, verse 11, it was, the earth was full of corruption. Verse 13, it was full of violence. It made God sick to his stomach. So I'm going to destroy everything. I'm going to wipe it all off. Everything. Everybody's going to die. But then his brother, Stalin, preached for a long time. What happened? With Noah. Now, this is what God says. Remember, the bad news come from, comes from God Himself. Yeah. Okay? This is what Himself saying. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before yes. me, from, from, from the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Yes. Verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. From under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. Everything is going to die. But before that, we were told that what was that? That there was good news, even though everybody's going to die. Noah gets good news. Everybody else is bad news. He's preaching bad news, bad news, bad news. You're gonna die, you're gonna you're gonna drown, you're gonna drown unless you get into the ark. You don't know they weren't gonna get in. But you have to preach it anyway. What's the use of preaching, Brother Ernie? They're all serpent seed. <laughs> My goodness. What is it? What's the need of pre preaching, Brother Ernie? It's already been preached for 40, 60 years. Why? Why do we have to preach it more? As a witness, the scripture says, That's preach right. the gospel as a witness to them. Right. Some will come here, one will come from here, one will come from there, but they need to be preached to as a witness. Man. Wow. We're not supposed to preach now the, for, to the lost. Why not? Huh. Paul said, preach in season and out of season. Amen. It's no longer season to preach to them. Why not? It's, well, it's been preached already. It's been combed over already. Look at the quotes. Yeah, but look at the other quotes. Yeah. Till his coming. It already came. It did. Yeah. Okay. Then why are we doing here? That's right. they, don't, they don't rightly divide the word of God. Words. To me, anyway, I'd like that's why I'd like to invite them to sit down and have a cup of coffee. Let's talk it over. Yeah, you know. But there's good news. Why? Noah, read that with me. Noah, Noah found Noah. grace and yeah. extended yeah. into yeah. his dysfunctional family. Yeah. Brother yeah. Alex and I were talking about that. We, 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 Ernie and I went to uh, um, Eileen's house the other day, and we, you know, talked to him about the three circles and the threefold nature of man. Uh, then we went the other day to uh, Becky's house. And then uh, she asked a question. And he said, well, it's just family problems. And he goes all the way back to the, to the Garden of Eden. Yeah. I said, Alex. I asked him like this, you know, double, you know, double, double edged sword question. I said, Alex, do you mean the Garden of Eden? There was a dysfunctional family? Yeah. Uh, 
He goes, yes. You mean like, oh yeah, Cain killed Abel. That's right. That's right. So yeah. That's right. Well, in the gate, in the yes. garden was separate. You know, you know what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, he had a dysfunctional family. Mm -hmm. One of his sons was weirdo. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. Remember that? Yes. He was a weirdo guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But Genesis six eight and eighteen says, "But Noah found grace." Read that again. But and Noah found, found grace in the eyes of the, of the Lord. Lord. But with thee I will establish, will establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife, and thy sons and thy wives with thee. So the covenant's going to be with Noah, but then it extends over to his children. That's the good news. Look at this. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou, all in thy house, into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. All, him and his sons and his wives? No. And she said, for you, you. just one guy. Can you? Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. One guy was seen righteous before God. He was My. perfect in all his generations, the Bible says. Wow. Generations does not mean his children. It's just, it means his what he did. Everything was righteous before God. He saw those weirdos getting married with tall girls and tall women with tall guys and vice versa and Having uh, hybrid children. Oh, did you see how fast my kid ran? He ran faster than you. <laughs> wow. Did you see what my son did? He lifted up 2,000 pounds just like this. Right. Then he went up with this. Then he steadied himself. Jerked it up. Put it one arm like this. And then walked around. How tall is he now? Well, he just hit 27 feet. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy, excuse me. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and thou my house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. And Noah went in, and his sons and his wife, and his sons' wives and with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. It came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, and the se second month, that would be May the 17th, the 17th day of month, the, si the same day, where all the fountains of the great deep broken up. The water went underground. Yes. Explain that to me. I can explain it to me. It's a book of not faith, not of science. Yes. But the water yes. the earth started shaking because of the Man. big atomic wars that were going on. Yes. Well, nice. Remember, the scripture does not say that the men, they were violent. They were violent, but it says that the earth was full of violence. Why? Right. They were, remember how they used to test bombs? Yes. That's yeah. Right. That's right. They set it down three, yeah. five hundred, a thousand feet, five thousand nice. feet, put the, put the, and then, then oh. and you see the earth shake like this, oh, like this on top, go up 50 feet or 100 feet, and then settle down like this. They, they just let off a big old bomb, the earth full of violence. They were doing that too. And all of a sudden, right. some of the bombs say, That's the one we want. And then they started it and they knocked it out of Tater. Yes. <sighs> In the 600th year, let me pick it up. The same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up, the water came from the bottom and it came from the top. Yes. And the windows of heaven were open. <laughs> oh, that beautiful song. Oh, yeah. the windows of heaven are yeah. open. Yeah. yeah. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> but for them, it was bad, bad news. news. <laughs> bad. So, bad. More good news. God directs him and his family to multiply and replenish the earth. Not good news. That's good news. Good news. Yes. Billions of people died. Just yes. say it like that. Billions of people died. Yes. Only eight left. And he tells Noah. Be fruitful and multiply. Tells his wife and him, be fruitful and multiply. And his wife says, no. Why, Why would God tell Noah to be fruitful and multiply if he can't be fruitful and multiply? Huh. That's just my thought, okay? We throw it out with the water. But not me, please. <laughs> 
God, good, God, we have more good news. God directs him and his family to multiply and replenish earth. Let's read that. This is on Genesis 9 after the flood, after they come out. They're there for a little over a year, right? And then God blessed Noah. Did God bless Noah, yes or no? Yes. yes. And his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Just the sons, right? Well, told all of them. Yes. He's probably too old. She was too old, probably too. But the order was still given. Yes. And that's to us also. My. Yeah. To those that can bear children. <laughs> so. And God bless Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and be ye what? Fruitful Man. and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply them in. Amen? Man. More good news. Not only does he give them tell them to be fruitful and multiply, he tells what does he tell them? He now tells them, he says, I'm going to give you a new covenant. Yes or no? Yes. yes. What is this new covenant? And God spake unto Noah and to his sons and him, with him, saying, And behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. Amen. Not just to them, it's to us. Amen. And with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl of the, and of the, of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you, for from, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth, everything, from humans all the way down to the animals that came in, you're all good. I'm giving you guys a new covenant. And I will establish, say, read that with me. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off from any more by the waters of the flood. Neither shall there be any more be flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make betwixt me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. Amen. I do set my bow in the cloud, Amen. and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. You talk about Revelation chapter 10, right there. Right, come right back to, uh, you know, can an angel come from heaven uh, dressed with a cloud and the rainbow around him. Amen. He's still remembering the covenant. Amen. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth. Amen. Here it is again. My. That the bow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you Thank and you every Lord. living creature Amen. of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy Amen. all flesh. Thank you, Lord. And the bow shall be in the cloud. Yes. <laughs> Here it is again. And I will look. I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting co covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon earth. He not only did, he yes. did that, he says, he swore between the dead, he's the cloud and the rainbow and Amen. thunders, and he puts his foot, like this, and he swears for and he puts his hand Amen. up there, he, 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 he swears again. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. What is that? What is that covenant? You just read it. It's the rainbow. Amen. God gave to Noah family. His family to us. Amen. It's the rainbow. Amen. He established it again. He, it comes with justification, sanctification, uh, baptism of the Holy Ghost, and then perfection in Joseph, and he gives him the rainbow. You know. Amen. <laughs> so it's good. Amen. I love that. The good news. Right. What is the good news? I said it earlier. I don't know if you I said it too fast. I'm gonna read it very slow. I'm gonna make sure it gets on on the film. The good news is the new birth. The good news, the new birth, is being presented little by little Amen. to man. Amen. Even though there's bad news that happens, it's just an avenue for God to show His grace, mercy, and His plan. The good news, He, he showed Moses His plan. The heaven's temple is the new birth. He's, he's, that's, his, that's all He's talking to the people about. The new birth. The new birth. Abraham, uh, come out of your people and uh, uh, justification. 
Yeah. He confirms your covenant, so that's sanctification. New birth. It's all. It's boring. It's all you talked about, brother Alex. It's all you talked about, brother Stephen. It's all you talked about, brother Ernie. Thank you, Lord. New birth. Well, thank God. Man. Thank God. Somebody's saying that. There are other people preaching it too. We're not the only ones. I just noticed I we I sent that thing about forty years to Brazil and a few pastors sent it back. Yes, brother, you hit it on the nail. That's the thing. That's what we think. We should, everybody should be preaching that right here in Brazil right now. Amen. New birth. Yeah. 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 Yes. That's right. Man. But not all of them. My. My. <laughs> but there's enough for the yeah. start. To, no wonder, brother Joseph said, "Up there to play." Hmm. Press play. Yes, Listen please. to what the prophet said. Yes. What was the first Glory. thing God showed in heaven? The new birth. Yes. What was the first doctrine? The Jesus. New birth. What was his Amen. first convert? What was his first Water. miracle? Water to wine. Amen. New birth. Everything's new birth. New birth. New birth. Amen. He showed Moses his plan. Heaven's temple is the new birth. God starts a new world with justification. Amen. Yes or no? Amen. Yes. You like that? Oh, I'm done with that. Get out of here. Amen. Get all that filth out of here. I'm going to start a new. Amen. Boom. Amen. Baptizes them with water. Justification. Yes. Amen. God starts a new world with justification. The first stage of grace through water. Water baptism. The first stage of the new birth. Let's stand, please. How was it? Simple. <laughs> Nothing deep. Even though it's simple, it's still deep. Very deep. Because it's simple, it's right there in front of us. If God just opens it up for us, you know. But the message of the hour. Here a little, there a little. Light upon my precept upon precept. Who shall I to whom shall I teach these things? Yes. Them that'll be weaned from the breast. Amen. And it's hard being weaned from the breast. You can hear it right now. Took a, some of us to Get him away from the Baba at night, right? But they did it. I love the I love the little buddy. <laughs> Let's see number fifty-four or forty-five with him a little bit. What a fellowship! What a love divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. I remember that we sang that uh, forty years ago. In F, I think it is. When did you play it in e, e Alex? Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is this e, easier for you than, than F. Yeah, easier. Yeah. What a fellowship. What a joy you are. Leading on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. Leading on the everlasting arms.